Welcome to the Creality Ender 3 build tutorial. Here you will learn how to build your Ender 3 3D printer kit. First we must unpack the box. Instructions Filament and SD card Tools Spatula Mains cable Now let's get the rest of the parts out of the box Next take the two vertical uprights and four M5 by 45 screws and washers. Note that the right upright has two holes in its left slot. Now take one of the screws and push it up through the holes in the right hand extrusion of the base module. Then loosely fasten the screw into the holes in the bottom of the upright. Take the other screw and insert it into the other hole. Now tighten the screws with the Allen key provided. Now repeat the same procedure with the left hand upright, making sure the two holes are towards the bottom. Double check the holes are in the right place. Now we can fit the power supply. First check that the voltage selector on the side of the power supply is set to the appropriate voltage for your region. Next take two M4x20 screws and mount the power supply through the holes in the right and upright with the power switch facing outwards. The next part of it is the display module. Be careful when removing the module from its anti-static bag and make sure that you don't touch any of the electronic components. The display module is fastened to the front of the right hand extrusion using two M5x8 screws like so. Now we need to attach the Z-axis end stop. This can be done by sliding it down the slot in the left upright. Ensure that you get the T-nut located perpendicular in the slot as shown. It should be positioned approximately 32mm above the base extrusion. Ensure the screws are tight with a supplied Allen key. The next step is to fix the Z-axis stepper motor using two countersunk M4 by 18 screws.
Now we can insert the Z-axis drive screw. Do not tighten at this point and check that the screw is vertical with the upright. If not, loosen the stepper motor and adjust. We can now put together the X-axis assembly. Take the longer of the two remaining extrusions, noting the two holes. Next take the X-axis stepper motor and extruder assembly, again noting the two mounting holes. These two parts mount together like so. Next take two M4x16 screws and washers and mount through the holes as shown. This can be a little tricky. Access to tighten the screws can be made to the holes in the opposite plate. Next we need to thread the x-axis drive belt around the x-axis stepper motor ensuring it is two side down engaging with the cog. Holding the belt in place we can now slide on the hot end assembly, ensuring it is at the opposite side to the extruder drive motor. We can then insert the ends of the belt into the slots in the hot end assembly. Next we can fix on the belt tensioner, again ensuring that the T-nuts are perpendicular to the slot. Pull the belt over the roller on the tensioner. Next we can fit the other roller bracket using two M4x16 screws and washers. Finally, we can tighten the belt by pushing on the tensioner and tightening the screws. The X-axis assembly is now complete. This can now be fitted to the rest of the machine. Carefully position the rollers in the slots in the uprights ensuring the extruder motor assembly is above the Z-axis screw. Now screw the Z-axis spindle into the thread guide. You should then be able to move the complete assembly down.
You can now tighten the screw on the Z-axis spindle. Also tighten the screws on the thread guide. Be careful not to over tighten these. Now we can fit the top rail. Note the position of these four holes. We start by fastening on the spool holder bracket using two M5x8 screws and T-nuts. This should be positioned about 12 centimeters from the end of the rail. Now fix the plastic end caps to each end of the rail. Next we can fasten the rail to the uprights using four M5 by 25 screws and washers. Lastly, we can add the spool holder. Now the build is mechanically complete, we just need to connect up the electrical cables. First connect the grey display cable to the EXP3 socket on the back of the display. Now connect the cable from the power supply. Next is the cable marked Z with a large connector which is connected to the Z axis stepper motor. And the cable marked Z with a small connector to the Z axis end stop. Now the cable marked E to the extruder stepper motor. Now the cable marked X with the large connector to the X axis stepper motor. And the cable marked X with the small connector to the X axis end stop. And finally we need to connect the Bowden tube. So that's the build complete. Let's try switching it on. We'll select home axis and check that everything's working alright. All looks good. So you should now be ready to try your first print. And remember, there are no limits, just your imagination. Thank you for watching. Check out the links below for where to buy your Creality Ender 3 3D printer kit.